Para terminar la cobertura del lanzamiento mundial de Lamborghini Huracán, ahora con Alex Lloyd, ex piloto y ahora periodista de yahooautos.com. Alex, so you're a unique <laughs> journalist because you're not only like us, like me, like I'm a regular driver, but you have professional experience. So I want to hear your opinion about this car. Uh, we haven't driven it on the road, but what about in the truck? Yeah, I'm I'm very impressed. I think there's there's some bits that you know, starting off on the on the the negative side, and we'll turn to the positives. But um, we have the dynamic steering on this now, which obviously makes it light at lower speed, and then get heavier as you increase lock. That isn't particularly nice on the track. It feels a little rubbery. Uh, and also we've got the magnetic ride, mm -hmm. um, the adaptive the suspension. suspension. Yeah. And I, I was told by the by one of a, one of the engineers that the passive suspension is actually better for the track because it's stiffer and a little bit lighter. So I think if we could take the dynamic steering off, put the passive ride on and then upgrade the tires to the court, the optional courses, then I think we'd have a really uh, good track car. But Because that was the only thing I was a little... The steering just didn't quite feel like I had the connection there. Okay, um, and let me interrupt you there because are we talking about a, a guy with the experience of you with IndyCar, like professional <laughs> driver, or a guy like me who has not that much experience on the track? Well, I think, uh, and Lamborghini said that for, for most people, they probably won't care, you know, they won't exactly. really notice it on the track and it will be preferable on the and road. That, and that's why I asked, yeah. because you know much, much more than anybody else. I think for most people, I think on the certainly the mag, the, the Magna ride uh, and the adaptive suspension is going to be the way to go because exactly. everybody's going to use this car on the street. Very few people are going to take it to the track. For those track day guys, I think there's a better setup than what we have driven so far. Um, but I've been very, very impressed. I think the grip level's been great. The car's very predictable. There's not a load of understeer, which is often when you have the all-wheel drive. Uh -huh. So I'm... And it's fast. It, it just feels like a good amount of power, a good amount of grip, and it's fun. You can play around with it a little bit. It's very... Um, stable, it's not going to bite you or um, do anything evil. So I, I really enjoyed myself in it. I really found it a very good, engaging car. The gearbox is a lot better now being dual clutch. You know, you can shift in the middle of a corner without the thing wanting to swap ends on you uh -huh. as it does in the Aventador. Uh, and actually chasing the, the lead driver in the Which Aventador, the Aventador yeah. he looked like he was having a, a, a more difficult time than I was. I mean, he's sliding yeah. around and really, you know, wheels spinning and getting himself out of shape where it was very comfortable uh, mm -hmm. in the Hurricane, just cruising up behind him so I, I, I was very very impressed uh, it's and I think if you did that, those extra bits for the track I think it would be even better but uh, the setup here is where supposedly it's going to shine a lot on the street exactly. so I'm looking forward to doing that what about the design do you like the design exterior interior I do. Uh, there were some complaints that I, I heard from some people saying ah, it's a little too safe on the design, I'd like it to be a little more extravagant. I think it's really good. I think it still holds a really big presence. It makes a statement like a Lamborghini should. You know it's a Lamborghini. You know you it's say. a Lamborghini immediately. Yes, it's a bit like a Mini Aventador, but there's also some Merchelago in there. and uh, I really like it. I think it's got a good sound to it as well. It, it's, a, it's an engaging car. It catches attention. But at the same point, as we found today, it really performs well on track too. It's not just as the event was really just for show. Yeah. And when you start getting into the corners, you really unearth some um, some difficulties with it. Whereas this, you really don't. You, you have to pick at little bits uh, for negatives because the negatives really aren't that big. Exactly. Uh, what about the? What's your opinion on the decision of going with a natural aspirated engine turn in, instead of a turbo or something like that? You know, I like it. I think it, it's it's rare now because everybody's downgrading yeah. and you know adding turbos and um, and I think there's good strong talk from quite low down. I think they said you know max is uh, peak torque is maybe six thousand five hundred, but at one thousand RPM you get seventy five percent of it. And I certainly never felt like I was lacking for torque. Um, you know, I think as McLaren and Ferrari and Porsche are doing on their really, you know, their really high-end hypercars, the, using the turbo really works when you can add those electric motors to, mm -hmm. to fill in that torque yeah. gap. Uh, but I think in a car like this, when you're not looking at that kind of technology, nat naturally aspirated, you know, and there's something about the V10 sound or an invented or a V12 sound. I mean, that's something, something else. It is, <laughs> and you're not going to, they're just becoming rarer and rarer. So I like the fact that we're staying with that here. Great. Alex Lloyd from Yahoo Auto. So we, that's where we can find all your stuff, but you do your reviews and all that? All, yeah, every day on Yahoo Autos. Excellent. Thank you very much, Alex. And Thank I you. Hope you enjoy the car here in Ascari. Will do. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>